Hello everybody, Shift here again with another paper planet run. And today I'm gonna be playing the square planet. Teleport to move around each side and get different buffs. The buffs seem to be damage, attack speed, money, and health. I don't know, we're gonna see. Let's get into it and see how this goes. The seed is this, let's run it. And uh, we're gonna definitely be on the money side, I would say. Oh, the attack speed side was crazy. So damage side is 20, we're gonna see them in a moment. But for now I want to be money. And uh, I did do a little test run to see how this works. So uh, whenever you clear a wave while you are in the money side, that is when the money appears. That's pretty much it. Th that's every one. So every wave you are in the money side, you line up this money thing. And then you get like one out of four charge. And then when you max this out, you get money. So what did we get? Better it up 20%. Fair enough. What is this? Plus 20%. Okay. Okay. A charge time, shoot a stationary geyser which shoots bullets directly, fire rate, no, gain 20% fire rate, times 2 fire rate, and 4 times degree of accuracy, your bullets have randomized velocity damage, and 1.1 fire rate, but bullet speed. When, why is this not, is plus 20 better than times 20? I'm gonna assume that if you have the plus 20, a lot of times is gonna be better, right? Fire rate and bullets, let's, let's get the, let's get the flat amount. I never had the flat amount. So, let's see the sides. This and this side does nothing for the stats. This side gives us damage and fire rate, but lose speed, bullet speed, lose bullet speed. And this loses damage and gains fire rate. So both of these gain fire rate, both this and this side gains fire rate. This gives you damage and less bullet speed. This gives you more, uh, less damage and more fire rate and more bullet speed. So that's good to know. And you can jump sideways, it seems. Okay, so my fire rate now is actually pretty decent, I would say. Uh, also, I don't need to be on that side unless it's the very final kill. So we can definitely use and abuse this. Now, for the challenges that we have included in this run, I have uh, included... We have four choices. Is the one upgrade, obviously, because I want to have choices. And then the other two are... Actually, I want to kill that last. And the other two are... Actually, no, we made uh, we just have more choices. That's the positives. And then the negatives is are that the bosses have some type of damage reduction in the beginning, damage mitigation in the beginning, and also that they have um, opponents spawn at the start of the wave, all of them together. Your bullets can collide with enemy red bullets to block them like a shield. We take this. Uh, three damage on our health, whatever. Enemies are pulled towards your cursor. Also very whatever. We're going to guarantee take this. Your bullets collide with red bullets. This is a godlike item. You always want that if you have the choice to do that. Uh, let's clear everything out here real quick. Or uh, only the final kills at the top is what matters. Ah, or at the bottom for that matter because we have room here. I want money, of course. I want to be able to buy everything in the shop if I so desire. Very nice. That's another wave done. Let's clear the other side first so I can make sure that we're going to end at the money side. Nice. Clear the other side first, so we're gonna end at the money side. Here we go. And now we can just be in the money side. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. What's the shop? What's the shop? Give me something godlike. Woo! This is godlike. Whole milk. Triple damage. Five times piercing. Lose half your fire rate. And lose a bit of bullet speed. But, once again, triple damage and five times piercing. And do you know what triple damage means? It means that this thing, plus six damage, by the way, let's actually be on a normal side, is actually plus 18 damage. Right? Boom, 18. And if I go over here, boom, 96. <laughs> Insane. Oh, oh, no, I wanted a shield. I had the money for a shield. I should have bought a shield. It's okay. I'm a bit sad, though, but I wanted the shield. Uh, we want to be on the money side, if possible. And what also is... Uh, something else that's also really, really important here is that uh, we want... Actually, is there anything really, really important? Can I take a shot and then jump to the other side? No. Um, yeah, we want to get the shield because I don't want to have to deal with curses, obviously. Because you never know when I'm going to get a curse. And you never know when you're going to be able to go to the next shop to buy the anti-curse, you know. Destroy those and now go over here for money. Nice. And let's destroy the boss. So normally the metric here is if the how long the boss survives. How, how much of the laser the boss is going to be able to fire out. If he doesn't get time to fire out the single laser or whatever, then we are completely busted. Jump to the other side. Okay, here there should be the laser maneuver now. Oh, I'm not gonna risk this. And he's toast. Nice. So we could have killed him if I, I risked it. But maybe we could have got damaged. Doesn't matter. Oh, let's go for the money side. What is this? 
Bullets accelerate towards your cursor, scaling their velocity based on your bullet speed. Yes, 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 yes. So I can stay forever on the money side. Cause your bullets to rotate themselves towards you. Yeah, this is the budget version of that. Bullets reaching that has a chance to refine. We're gonna take this for five turns, and we just got a curse. So now, whenever I shoot out bullets, oh yeah, exactly. Yes, we can control bullets now. Ooh, these opponents almost break my combo, by the way. Whoop. Loop around. Almost died. Almost died, not paying attention. Almost died. What is this? Almond milk? Yes. Yes. So just to be clear as to what happened just now, we've got a god run. So times three damage. Plus five piercing. That's irrelevant, but it's a free, free piercing. So this is times three damage and times half attack speed. Forget the bullet speed right now. So it's times three damage, half attack speed. And this is times four fire rate. So that means that it is times two fire rate if we add that. Right? So it's times two fire rate. And this this is 0 0.35 damage. So that's divide damage by three. While this is multiply damage by three. So the, the damage is the same, but we get a little bit of attack speed. And we also get five piercing for free. And we lose bullet speed. So we trade bullet speed for double attack speed, pretty much. And piercing. So we we'll definitely go for this, obviously. The other choices aren't even a thing. Now we have our attack speed back, if not more. Jump to the money side. Okay, here we go. Now, let's not forget that my bullets literally block red shots. So can I also be here and just shoot a bunch and then go over here? Oh, they change. Okay, they change. So if they change, then it's useless. But I could go over here, shoot a bunch out, and then just have them go in loops. Oof. 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 Here we go. Here we go. And we're also making infinite money because the planet's busted. We literally got the god run for this. We literally got the god run for this. Let's go. Let's go. Whoop, loop de loop around. Zoop, zoop, hit those. Loop de loop around. And get it going. Nice, nice, nice. Whoop, zigzag. Got some hits. Very nice. And money. We should be super duper rich. Nice. Okay, we're gonna get three damage and one health. What is this? Transforms into a random stackable non curse item every four waves. The item will become red in the list of items. Hmm. I have done a, a bunch of test runs in general. I have 666 money as if the game is telling me do not buy this, but I have done a, bust a, a couple of test runs and honestly, I don't like this item. And the reason is it can roll into items that say you have minus max life and you can literally die from that. Like, um, it has happened to me in a test run before, like in a recording, to be honest, which you're never going to see, but I had that item and... It literally rolled into an item that says you have... I mean, either it rolled into something that gave us minus max life, or it rolled into something that gave me ma one max life. There is There are items that say your life is capped at one. So I had like five life, and then I switched a wave, and I just died. So uh, I, I'm not really inclined to repeat that mistake. Let's loop over to the other side. One boss is dead. Let's go for the other one now. This was a very fast kill, by the way. Whoop, and that's also dead. Wow, the damage side here with the 39 damage coming in. And the attack speed side is also nice. 1.4 fire rate, 3 degrees of inaccuracy, but lose 3 damage. And another 20% fire rate. Every third time your player fires the created the bullet damage multiplied by 2.5. That's actually good. And this is when your bullets reach the edge of the visible area, they will teleport to the other side. Yeah, we're gonna take this. Looping bullets. Looping bullets. We're gonna continue with the money. So now we have bullets all over the place. And also we're super duper rich. I really need to remember buying a shield, by the way, because I'm going to definitely get a curse and die. Lose on max health and gain fire rate. I do enjoy this. Gain a body that orbits your planet and fires at your cursor whenever you shoot at 0 0.5 of your fire rate. So this is literally a 0 0.5 damage multiplier. It literally doubles your bullets. It says when you fire, it fires at half your fire rate. So that means every two of my bullets is going to be one of that. This is this is 30% more bullets. This is 50% more bullets. We're going to go with this. Okay, here we go. Unless I'm wrong about how this is supposed to work. But I don't think I am. And also having this bullet here shoot. It doesn't say it does less damage. It just says it shoots half the bullets. So that's actually really good. Because now I can have just straight up more bullets on the screen. That have no downside whatsoever. I would like my bullets to be a bit faster so I can rotate them fast around. I also need to pay attention as to where opponents are attacking. And now the next item I would like to get, if we want to get the real god run, would be, you know, the good old your bullets go through your planet. <laughs> That's the, the classic always buy that thing. What is this? Bullets spawn two extra bullets when colliding with enemies. And for damage, we take both of them. We buy this, and we buy this, and we buy this for shielding. 
And now I'm no longer afraid of the curse. And now we can actually play. I continue being on the money side because money is my friend. Is it though? I'm not really sure. Let's go on. Having money is good anyway. In the game, in any game, and in real life too. So in any scenario, money is good to have around. Uh oh, this is not good. I'm gonna maybe avoid. Okay, avoid it. Very nice. We lost one round of money, but that's okay. Jump to the other side. Now we have the damage bullets. Stacking them up, stacking them up, stacking them up. And then... Dead. Oops, still alive. Jump to the other side. Got him. I could theoretically... Ah, I could stack these up and then jump over to the other side and make them huge. Ooh. So what are your choices? 30 times attack speed, but lose one max health. 20 times attack speed, but lose one health. Whenever yellow bullet gets close to the turret. Yeah, whatever. And get the pet. No, we're not going to get the pet because I'm always going to be the money side. So I would say we throw a health away for the a little bit more attack speed. One max health is not really that relevant in my opinion. The little bit more attack speed might be relevant. It's not like you can pre-calculate how, how many multiplayers you're going to find. And how much that specific multiplayer is going to help. But in general, in this game, everything is multiplicative. Because this game is, you know, broken, busted, runs, incarnate. So um, you definitely want to get as many high multipliers as possible so that they multiply themselves with all the other crazy high multipliers. Flames are on the stage and they instantly disappeared. So flames do disappear if the wave is over, but shots in the air do not disappear, especially yellow shots. And that's why we're going to get damaged like a lot of times at the, close to the end of the game. So honestly, max life is important. Oh, come on, man. Time to go to the money health side. Oh, we have a health side. We just lost the multiplier, by the way. And we're gonna get the multiplier back in a moment. Doesn't really matter that much. Oh, having a health side means I should definitely have more max health. That's flat damage and lose movement speed. The additional generator, that's useless because we have bullets that block them. Double bullet speed. Yeah, I'm gonna buy both of these. And a shield, of course. Buy this and this and this. We have so much money because we are the money planet. The money planet is the best planet up to this point. Okay, let's not forget we have splitting shots, right? That's why my orbs look like my shots look like they're round. And boss time, so we're gonna fill this board with bullets. And then we're gonna go to damage version. Uh, where am I? I'm mixing up as to where I am. Here we go, damage version. And you're dead. Forget the attack speed version. The attack speed version makes it just shoot to the, to the other side of the sunset. Three piercing bullets gain 1.5 damage after they hit an enemy, up to two times. Oh, crazy good. Gain a body that orbits planet and fires at your cursor whenever you shoot. Oh, that's the same with the thing I have. Even more bullets. Whenever one of your bullets hits an enemy, a star bullet with half the damage is summoned off screen to hit it again. Okay. I would say more buddies. This 1.5 damage after hitting an enemy up to two times. I mean, now I'm gonna go with this. This is literally a 50% damage increase. Straight up. It's just 50... Straight up, it's 50% more bullets. There is no downside to that. And also now I have access to being able to shoot from all the sides all the time, right? I, I just need to pay attention as to where I, I am. And then I will have a turret somewhere being able to hit something. So I don't even need to pay attention to everything. Nice. I'm just looking where I am. That's it. Red bullets are not a thing. Flames incoming. Flame actually got disabled. We somehow did not get hit. If you go back for half a second and look at my turret, you're gonna see how close that was. Man, there are some patterns in this game that you can... Flames incoming! Oh, avoided. Nice! And I charged up the healing. What is this? Gain 5 damage whenever your bullets hit a nearby enemy. An enemy nearby enemies of the same type take damage. Well, that's gonna clear out everything very fast. Plus 3 damage now in each zone. We're gonna take that for sure. Uh, when I don't fire, I get damage multiplier. I mean, the damage multiplier is irrelevant, but... When you don't fire part is relevant. But uh, you do get a very, very, very small multiplier in general all the time. Obviously, I'm going to get the other thing. Not for the curse aspect of it, but for the damage aspect. The five more... Not the... I, I didn't want that for the aspect that said... First of all, we're going to instantly do the damage version here. Uh, jump over. Ooh, almost died. Damage version. And we won! Broke the game. Broke the boss right away. So, I don't care about the opponents that are the same type, get hit and whatnot. I care more about the plus 5 damage. I have 226 damage when I don't attack. Charge time, 8 seconds, which is actually instantly. So, because I have crazy, crazy attack speed. So, 0 0.8 charge shot damage times 4 charge shot piercing. Shots. Shoots a drone that accelerates towards the nearest enemy with no maximum radius. First of all, I think I should be in the attack speed side. Just to be clear. 
shoots a drone that accelerates towards the nearest enemy with no maximum range. Okay, enjoy that. And what's this? Charge time. Charge bullets have an aura around them that deals 10 times their damage each second. Oh, yes, we definitely take this. We take this. We stay on the attack speed side. And now we, um, yeah, we just do this all the time. Do we not do enough damage? Maybe we should be on the damage side. Oof, I thought I was going to get hit there. I'm still cursed, by the way. Jump to the other side. That was a laser guy instantly ready to hit us. Avoid everything I can. Go to the other side for the damage. Nice. One second left. Come on, one. Okay, so curses are gone. I'm going to stay on the damage side, obviously, because damage is busted. Yeah, a bunch of shots. Avoided. Bunch of shots. Avoided. Still avoided. So I'm very afraid, but still avoiding everything here. We don't need the money, by the way. That's why I'm not going on the money side. We are super duper rich with 4,000. Avoid everything we can. Shop time. Very nice. Is this a double shield? Double shield, whatever. Even more damage and based on zone, more damage. Might as well buy this. I don't know. Let's buy the whole shop, actually. I got money. Here, let's make this boy rich. Nice, man. I still have money. Insane. And we're gonna obviously go for the damage side, as it seems to be the best side. Whoop, avoid shot. Whoa, whoa, I avoided everything. Got a lot. Whoa, now though. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. This planet being just squarey helps me out so much with how I'm seeing things to avoid stuff. Because normally I, like yesterday when I played the, um, what planet did we play yesterday? The flame planet? I was really having issues with those multi-attackers. This thing is gonna just die instantly, by the way. Uh, actually, this does not die instantly, as far as I know. I need to get through the pierce pieces. It's doing a laser maneuver. Jump over to the damage side. Trying to hit all the pieces. I, I don't know where I am. I just realized where I am. This is not gonna be an easy fight in general. It's, actually, this is a very bad pattern for us. That's the main issue right now. I should have gotten hit there. I'm not sure if you saw what happened. I literally blinked away from death. That's literally what happened. Go back and look at the footage. Oh, come on, man. Where am I life-wise? I can't even look at my life right now. I think I'm dead. I died. This was such a god run and I died because of this. Ugh. It is what it is, you know. Sometimes you lose. Sometimes you lose. I can't win everything. <laughs> I'm gonna still upload this. I mean, we literally got the final boss, but I died because of my... Issues with avoid. I mean, honestly, honestly, if I want to throw the reason as to why we died to something, I'm gonna say that the reason was because we got two times the hardest possible pattern for this planet, which was the laser pattern. Because normally, like I said previously, it's very easy to block those machine gun shots coming towards you. The opposite is true for the laser pattern because you need to be blinking around all the time and trying to maintain your loop-de-loop. -loop. Like, it's, it's a very bad in my opinion. So if you got the other patterns, the star patterns and the... Uh, red rockets like the, the boss has four patterns it has the rosy ring with yellow attacks which we didn't get would have been easy this laser thing that happened which also is this is the worst one and then the shoots a, a bunch of red rockets yeah it actually has three patterns oh and then the laser strike which we also had which is also bad for us by the way so we got the laser strike which was hard and the double laser strike which was hard and it could have did the rosy ring which is in general it's the hardest one but in this one in this instance it would be easy and then obviously the rockets would be the easiest but it didn't do it so yeah it is what it is it can happen. I'm not the god of gods in these type of games anyway, but uh, I do enjoy breaking them. And I think we broke the game up to the point where, you know, the final boss defeated us. But so be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. The seed is here if you want to play the same run. And uh, once again, I'm going to disable for a couple of here. Here, boom, the seed is here, top left. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching. And see you guys around.